Hello and welcome to the Artist Toolkit tutorial series. In this episode, we will create new resource – food. Let's get started. Go to the resources subsystem slash blueprints and open e resource type enumeration. Here you can see different predefined resources, like tree or gold. Let's add new member – food. Now go to the resources subsystem slash data folder and open resources data table. Add a new row for our new resource and specify name, description and icon. Now let's create new resource seed. And resource seed has health. Seed's health defines how many resources can be gathered. For instance, this rock is a gold resource seed and worker can gather gold here. So go to the resources subsystem slash blueprints and create a new child of the resource seed blueprint. Set its resource type to food and specify collecting time and collecting amount. You can specify a different time and amount for different functions. For instance, I want to gather 5 food every 2 seconds. Also set move acceptance radius. It defines how close your worker must come to gather the resource. And don't forget to set an ID. Note the resource ID is not an ID we've added in the resources data table, but an ID for the seed actor itself. Now let's specify static mesh. I'll use this beautiful tree. Also let's set up building collision. It is called building collision because it affects only building, so we will not be able to build near to the resource C. You can specify building collision location and scale using variables in the default section. Or you can add C actor to the level and set up building collision here. Finally, we should fill two data tables. The first one is selection subsystem slash data slash selectable actor scene for data table. Specify seeds icon and name here. And the second one is stat subsystem slash data slash actor stats data table. Resources seeds need only health. The resource seed is ready. Let's create an ability to gather food now. First of all, we need to create a new resource collecting task. Tasks are used in the abilities blueprints. Almost every ability has appropriate task. It is convenient to encapsulate part of ability logic, and in this case, tasks are very useful. So go to the task subsystem slash blueprints slash worker folder and create new child of the collect resource task blueprint. Collect resource task is quite complicated, but we will work only with its child, so open it. Here we can override play possible animation event. I'll get task executor variable and then cast it to base RTS unit. Here we can call event to play animation, but we haven't one yet, so go to the RTS characters slash blueprints and open base RTS unit blueprint. Here we can set different events for animation. Let's create new custom event and call it play gather food animation multicast. Make it multicast and check reliable setting. Let's also create one more custom event. Play gather food animation. This event shouldn't be replicated. Now we can call not replicated event from the multicast one. After that, let's create new function called get gather food animation settings. It should have two output values, an in montage and play rate. Also make it pure and set its category to animation. We will override this function in our worker blueprint. Now open event graph again and add some nodes to the play gather food animation event. First of all, we wanna call get gather food animation settings and check if the return value is valid. And if it is, set current animation montage variable to that value and finally call play anim montage function. Now we can open collect food resource task and call play gather food animation multicast event here. Open class defaults tab and set resource type to food. And also don't forget to override get gather food animation settings in your worker blueprints. Our task is ready, so we can create new ability. Go to the ability subsystem slash blueprints slash resources and create new child of the collect resource ability. Set collect resource task class to the task we've just created, set resource type to food and specify an ID. Now open abilities data table, add a new row for the new ability. Also open Actors Abilities data table and add Gather Food ability to the Workers Abilities list. Let's test what we have done. 
we can select new resource seed, but we can't use Gaza food ability on the seed because we haven't resource storage. Also, we haven't food on the resource bar. Let's fix it. Go to the RTS characters slash blueprints and open base player character blueprint. Here you should find event called initialize resource storages multicast and add the set resource storage call to the end. Resource type should be food and new storage should be for loops array element. Now let's open initialize resources map function. Here you can specify resources player will have from the start of the game. Let's get our resources data table row. Row name should be food. And then add new member to the consumable resources map. I'll add 5 food. Now we should set up resource storage icon. Go to the building subsystem slash blueprints and open base RTS building. Here you should open function called update resource icons and specify an icon for the food resource. Finally, I want to create set as food storage ability so player can mark building as a food storage. Go to the ability subsystem slash blueprints slash buildings slash global and create new child of the set as resource storage ability. Here you should set resource type to food and specify an ID. Now add a new row to the abilities data table. I'll make this ability serving. After that, add this ability to any building you want. Let's test it. Now we have food icon on the resource bar. Also our townhouse was automatically set as a food storage. But we can build a house and set that house as a new food storage. But if we try to just right click on the food seed, our worker will do nothing, while when we click on the gold seed, our worker automatically uses mine ability. This is so called quick cast feature, and to make it work with new seed, you should open your food resource seed blueprint and override get quick usability class function. Here you should return array of abilities which should be casted when you right click on the actor. So just return gather food ability. Now we can gather food by right clicking on a tree. If you have any questions, welcome to the comments section. See you next time.